Hi guys, welcome to this video where I'll be talking about how I paint black fur and pastels. Let me start off by saying if this was an oil painting or an acrylic painting, I would never use black straight from the tube. Rather, I would be mixing my blacks using different colors. But because it's pastels, I am using blacks. In this case, I lay down my base using pan pastels. And then I work using pastel pencils over top of the pan pastels to um, build up my colors. And the reason I like starting off with the pan pastels is because you get a really nice thin layer and then it's very easy to build over top of that thin layer. And it's key, if, you're th if your first layer is thin, then you should be able to easily layer over top of that. A mistake that a lot of beginners might make when painting black fur is they'll just paint it black and leave it at that or they'll just go straight for the white and then start applying white on top of the black to, um, to show light. But when you want to start layering light on top of your black fur, it's important to first really pay close attention to your reference. Have a good look at it and try and determine what colors you see. You might find yourself really surprised when you start noticing all the different colors that you could see in black fur when you really examine your reference photos. When you really examine black fur, depending on the reference photo you're working from, you might see browns, you might see reds, greens, blues, purples, grays, all kinds of different colors. In the reference for this piece, I was predominantly seeing blues, mauves, and grays. And so to start painting my cat realistically, like I said earlier, I apply first a very thin layer using pan pastels. I apply black and then depending on which part I'm working on, I would apply either dark blue or dark mauve and then layer over top of those colors. I never want to have just two colors either. I always want a minimum of three colors so that my pieces have depth. So by this, what I mean is I apply a dark base layer, so my blacks in this situation. The only time I would be using white is if um, my reference was taken in really bright afternoon light or harsh white light. So using pure white to um, have um, light showing on black fur could be really harsh, but by using various colors, again, depending on the reference you're working from and just gradually building up with softer colors, you're gonna have a more natural looking light on your black fur and you're gonna have more depth and more realism than just going straight to white. If you just have black and white to paint black fur, it's not gonna look right, it's gonna look flat, it's gonna look harsh, it's just not going to be an appealing painting. In situations where I do need to use white for highlights, I'll do so very cautiously and sparingly, being very careful to just not overdo it. It's um, one of those things where less is more. In this clip here, you can see where I'm laying down the, um, the base layer with the pan pastels and just working my way to the lighter colors. And again, just going from darks to midtones, and then I'll be building up light on top of that. When I get clients contacting me for pet portraits, and I know that their pet is black, I always advise them to try and take a photo of their pet outside, either in the morning or late evening, um, or on a cloudy day. If they're taking a photo of their pet indoors with a flash, you're not going to get nice natural light. You're going to get that harsh white light that just bounces back and it's just really not conducive to a nice pet portrait. Or if it's bright afternoon sun, then there might be too much white and just not enough soft light to really render a nice pet portrait. Obviously, if somebody is sending me a cat to paint, I'm not going to advise to bring them outside, especially if it's an indoor cat. So I would advise them to take a photo of their pet indoors not using any flash and just have them near a window. So maybe have a nice setup with a pillow or favorite toys or something, just a nice little setup um, of the cat near a window so that there's nice natural soft light flowing into the room and onto the cat. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I come out with new videos. I also have a full length tutorial with real time on my Patreon where I show you how to paint this cat step by step. I will put the link in the description below and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and until next time, take care.